Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I have another placemat pouch for you. If you're not familiar with the placemat pouch series, we have several placemat pouches that are made out of none other than placemats. I kind of feature the Pioneer Woman placemats from Walmart and there are a ton of different projects. I'll try to pop up a few right here. But I have a brand new one for you today and I am super thrilled with how this turned out. Ta-da! I think these turned out so cute. This is sort of a, or it isn't sort of, it is a project pouch. There are two different versions. One has handles, one does not. And either way, I think they are equally cute. They are totally finished on the inside. There aren't any raw edges. So let me show you how that works. So here's the inside. And again, they're made out of the quilted placemats. So super cute inside. So the beauty of the placemat pouch is that this one will, because of this sturdy placemat, it stands up on its own. So if you are working on a project, you can open it up like this and you have this wide open area to create, to put your yarn in or your project and you can work right out of it. And then when you're done, you can simply lift it up, draw the string and you can either carry it like this or if you make the one with the handles you can carry it like this and all of this just pops right inside just like that so super cute really easy to make these these are so beginner friendly if you're new to sewing this is a great project any of the placemat projects are great for new sewists they're super easy. There's not any zipper in this. There's nothing scary about it. It's got this nice box corner. You're going to learn some really basic uh, sewing ideas. And this is a really simple pouch to make. I know when I've made them in the past that the embroidery groups enjoyed the placemat pouches because they're really easy to um, embroider on. And I just did a simple monogram. You could put knitting on it. You could put a name. These make great, great gifts. So really, really cute. So let's get started. I am going to show you, I'm going to walk you through making this version first. It's just a little bit easier because it has one less step. If you want to make the one with the handles, you're going to need two um, Pioneer Woman napkins or two extra pieces of fabric. Um, if you're going to make this version, you just need one placemat, one napkin, but both just take one placemat, two napkins for this one, one napkin for this one. And that's really all you need besides your string. So let's get started. So this is what you're going to need. This is a Pioneer Woman placemat. I get these at Walmart. It is double-sided. They have different designs. This is the one that I'm going to use and you can use either side as the outside or the inside, however you want to do it. This is the one I'm using. You're going to want some pens or clips, your rotary cutter. You're going to need um, something for your drawstring. I'm going to use this t-shirt um, rope that I have. You could also use uh, some actual corded rope. Whatever you want. I just, I have this and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to use that. And then I picked up a pack of the matching Pioneer Woman napkins. And you're going to need just one. You can use whatever color you want going to need a ruler and then of course your regular sewing machine um, and notion. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is set our placemat aside. We're going to work on the napkin. We need to make this napkin, which is, let's see if it tells the size on these, they're 18 by 18. We need to cut this to 15 inches wide. So we're going to cut three inches off of one side. It doesn't really matter which side. I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can. Zoom my ruler. I'm going to cut off three inches. All right, so we can get rid of that. Now, the next thing we want to do is take that raw edge and we're going to fold it over by about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch and then fold it over again. And our end goal is to get this napkin to be 14 inches wide. So we want to oops, 
Move it this way. I want this to be 14 inches wide. So right there's 14. So I need to fold it over this much and then I'm going to fold this side in so that I have a nice border just like it was but we're making a finished edge. You're going to press that and then you're going to stitch that down right along the edge on the folded side. So let me go ahead and again we want to 14 inches from the side. I'm going to take that over to my iron and I'm going to press it like that. So it'll be pressed down like that. And then I'm going to take that raw edge and just tuck it in and give it another press like that. And then we're going to stitch right down the folded edge. Okay, so I have folded it in just like that. So this now measures 14 inches across just like that and I don't have any raw edge. So now what I'm gonna do is take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right along that folded edge just to secure that into place. If you want to get rid of some of this bulk right here, you can go ahead and give a trim to that little corner just so that you have a little less bulk in the corner. So again, I'm just trimming off the extreme corner just like that all right so that makes sense so now we have it's 18 by 14 okay so I've stitched that down now we've got a nice border all the way around all right so you want to orient it so the 14 inch side is across the top and we're going to fold it in half and establish our center point. You can also just measure it if you want, but I'm just going to line this up. Because this has a plaid stripe to it, it's pretty easy to establish that center and keep it straight. All right, so we're gonna open it up, and now we have that center point. We're gonna cut this in half. Okay, so now we have two pieces that measure 14 inches by nine inches and they ha each have a raw edge. What I want you to do now is to take your ruler and you're going to, let me get this one out of the way, you're going to measure up, we're looking at the side with the seams and this is the raw edge. We're gonna measure up two and a half inches from the bottom. So two, one, two and a half. And then you're going to use a fabric marker or a pen, whatever you want. And you're just going to mark where that two and a half inch mark is. All right. Then you're going to take this over to the iron and you're going to fold this up a quarter of an inch, press it, and then fold it up to that line and press it. I've already done this one at the iron, so it's going to be like this, and then you're gonna fold it up to that line. Once you've done that, you're gonna take it back over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch right along this folded edge close to the edge. Make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and the end of all your stitches. So one more time, you're gonna take your raw edge, you're going to measure two and a half inches, make a mark. Then you're gonna take it to the iron and you're going to fold in a quarter of an inch, press it, and then fold this up to that two and a half inch mark and press it. So I have both of mine pressed into place and you just wanna make sure before you stitch them down that both of them are the same size. So they should be the same height. Once you're in sh you're sure that they're both the same, go ahead and take it over to the uh, sewing machine and you're going to stitch 
right along this edge, securing that down on both pieces. Okay, when you're done, you should have something that looks sort of like this. You've got a big margin and a small one on the bottom on both pieces. All right, so let's grab our placemat. And you need to decide which side you want to be the inside, which side you want to be the outside. I'm gonna do this on the outside. So I'm gonna look at the side that I want to be the outside. I'm gonna take one of my pieces, the side with the seams, I'm gonna put it so that that wide seam that we just stitched is facing down and this side is facing up. So here's that little big cuff that we just made. So now you're gonna take your clips or whatever and just clip this into place. Just like so. And it should be the exact same length as your placemat. Then you're gonna flip it around and do the same thing here. So we're gonna take the wide seam, put it towards us, towards the middle of the placemat. And we're going to line this up and pin or clip that into place. Whatever works for you. So that's the basic bag. Now, if you want to add handles, I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to do handles, what you're going to do is cut the seam off of one side, and then you're going to cut two strips of another napkin that are four inches. I have to, there we go. So two strips, four inches, the entire length. There's one, let's get rid of that. And two. All right, so what you're going to do with these um, again, you can cut these seams off the ends. That would probably be the easiest just to give you a little bit less bulk. So I'm going to cut the seams off the ends. All right, so you've got two pieces of just raw edge fabric. You're going to take it over to the iron and you're going to fold it in half and then press it. Once you establish that center point, you're going to open it up and you're going to fold this into the center, press it Just like that. Fold this side into the center, press it, and then fold this in half, press it so that you end up with pretty much a binding piece. You're gonna do that to both of your pieces. So once you've pressed those into place, they'll look like this. So the inside's pressed in, and then you fold it in half and you pressed it. And then you're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch with a top stitch right along this edge and right along this edge, and that's going to be your finished handle. Okay, then you're going to take your placemat and you're going to measure in one, two, three, four inches and place your handle. Go ahead and flip that. Same thing on this side, make sure that it's not twisted. One, two, three, four inches. Just like so. Then this one we don't have to measure, we can just match it up with that one. Or you can measure whatever works for you. That's how you should do it. All right. So you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and you're just going to stitch on the binding part right along this edge just to secure those in place on both the front and the back of your placemat. 
So if you want the handle version, this is how your placemat's going to look. And then the rest of the tutorial will be exactly the same. So I just wanted to throw this segment in there so that you understand if you're making the version with the handles, how your sandwich goes together. So you'll have the placemat face down, your handles are on the top, and then your drawstring pieces that we just made are going to go on top of that with the wide seam facing the center. So it'll be something like this. You place mat and your handle will be in the middle. Make sure that handle stays down. You might want to tape it or pin it down just so that you don't accidentally stitch that where you don't want it. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. You're going to put that wide seam towards the middle with your sandwich in the middle or your handles in the middle. And the assembly for the rest of the bag is the same whether you have the handles or not. So either version you can pick up right here. So once you have that into place, you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch right along this edge, back stitching at the beginning and the end. Same thing on this end. Stitch from edge to edge, down both of the sides, back stitching at the beginning and the end. So when you're stitching it down, you want to stitch right inside those seam lines on the side. There is a line on the napkins and they have a, another stitch line that we want to make sure that is um, covered. So when you stitch it down, stitch right inside that fold line. Use that as your guideline for your seam allowance. Once you have that stitch into place, it's going to look like this if you open it up. So you can open it up and then give it a little press if you want. And then we're just going to do a top stitch just to give it a finished look right along this edge on the napkin side and right along this edge on the napkin side. So go ahead and top stitch your napkins down. All right, once you have it done, it should look like this on the back. You're looking at your seams, you're looking at your back side. The front side looks something like this. So we just ran that top stitch right along that edge right there. So this is the front. This is the back. This is going to be the inside of our project. So we're going to turn it over so that we're looking at the front and we're going to fold it in half. So we should be looking at these seams and looking at this sticking out. And we want to match up the side right where the placemat is and clip that. Turn it around, do the same thing on this side, match up the placemat. Give that a clip. And then you can go ahead and clip the rest of it on the sides. So I'm gonna make sure that that top matches. If things have shifted a little bit, it's okay. Just make sure that the top here matches. If your sides are shifted a little bit, just make sure they're nice and flat. It's okay, just make sure you've got everything it looks like mine's shifted a little bit and again everything's flat make sure clip that together and I clip that together okay so now you want to take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch right inside this binding so you're going to be stitching right here, right inside this blue binding, all the way up, stopping when you get to this cuff at the top. Same thing here, you're gonna back stitch, stitch all the way up along that binding, keeping that same seam allowance, go all the way up and stop at that cuff. Make sure that you back stitch forward and backwards a couple times up here because this is going to take the most stress. If your placemat has shifted a little bit or your napkins, just make sure that you catch both pieces of fabric. I don't have mine clipped together very well. There we go. So just make sure that you're totally closing up these side seams all the way up, all the way down. Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like this. So if you have the box corner templates that I used to have on my website, you can use those now, or if you don't, just use a ruler. And you're going to measure two inches 
from your seam line. So find your seam line and put your this edge on the seam. Measure two inches in and two inches up. And we're just going to box this out just like that. If you're using a ruler, you're just going to do it like this. We're measuring two inches from that seam line over, make a line, two inches up from the bottom, make a line. So again, I'm measuring from the seam line, not the edge. Two inches, two inches. All right, now you want to cut those squares out. And try not to overshoot it, cut it exactly. Just like that. All right, once you have those corners cut out, you're just going to go to the corner and you're gonna open it up and you're gonna match this bottom right here where the fold is with this side. So you're gonna open it up, match that up. And then get everything straight across and pin or clip that into place. I prefer to split this seam. You can push it one way or the other, but I'm just going to split it. I'm going to pin it. And pin this side. So it looks like that. Same thing over here. We're going to open this up. We're going to match that bottom with the top. Get everything straight. Open that seam. Clip that into place. All right, now you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and you are going to stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance from one edge to the other on both of these. And then if you have a serger, you can serge that edge to finish it off. If you don't have a serger, follow it up with a zigzag stitch so that you don't have fraying edges. So again, a quarter inch seam allowance, and then follow it with a zigzag stitch or a serger on both seams. Okay, so you can see I stitched it, and then I used my serger and just finished off that edge on both sides. All right, so now we're gonna turn this right side out. Helps if you give it a nice press around that boxed edge. All right. So now all we need to do is add our drawstrings. So again, I'm going to use this t-shirt yarn just because I want to get rid of it. So what I like to do is kind of double it the length of the bag. And then I give myself plenty of extra, but you can do whatever you want if you're tight. I've got an extra one, two, three, four, five, six inches. And then you're going to need two pieces like that. All right. So then you're going to need a safety pin or a bodkin if you have it. I'm going to use a bodkin just because that's what I've got. But if you have a safety pin, that works just fine. So you just put this around it, tighten it up. And then we're just going to go in one of these sides. Out the other. And then flip it over and go right back through the other side. All 
All right, so we've got one in. And then I like to pull it so it's straight. Get these even. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Only we're going to go in on the opposite side. So right back in. I kind of just push the other one down to the bottom of the channel. Try to go on the top, but it doesn't really matter. And one side out the other and back through. And there you have it. How cute is that? Now this is the perfect spot for embroidery. If you want to do embroidery on it, I would suggest you do the embroidery prior to and you're just going to center it on the, the first half of your placemat because this never changes its size. So you could put embroidery here, you could put embroidery here. So here's a look at the embroidery that I did. I just wanted, for those of you who are interested in adding embroidery, you can see I put mine about two inches from the top and my um, monogram at the largest point is about three and a half inches tall. And that worked out pretty well. I could have maybe raised it a little bit, but two inches down, three and a half inch monogram worked pretty well for me. So that's it. That's the latest placemat pouch. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. If you make these, I would love it if you tag me on social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever. I want to see your version. It makes me so happy when I see these being made and gifted to others. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. As always, never stop making. See you guys. Bye-bye.